Welcome back guys! Today we finish our road trip through Romania with part 3 and the last one of this series covering the places I recommend you visit in Romania based on personal experience. If you enjoyed this and want similar videos in the future, please let me know about your opinion in the comment section below. We went through most of Romania already, covering everything but what most people actually know about Romania, and that is Transylvania, a region of myth and blood. A region that is actually just the center of the country, Ardeal. A region that will be preceded by arguably the most mysterious and culturally rich part of Romania, Maramureș. You can find the link to the map I've used in the description if you want to use it when you travel in Romania or when you plan your trip. Make sure you check that out after watching this video because we're now diving in. Now, we moved to Maramureș, which is Satu Mare and uh, Maramureș. Here you get the... Um, you get Baia Mare, as I said, I haven't set foot in Satu Mare, but here you get Baia Mare, you get Sigetu Marmatie, to, this is the biggest uh, city around here. In many ways, it's actually quite similar to Piatra Neans, but with very different architecture and very different influences. Um, but you can access it quite easily from Cluj. Then Sigetu Marmatie, right at the border with Ukraine, Quite an interesting place, been there, saw Ukraine from the other side and uh, it's, yeah, interesting people around there, very, very special, very special. And then Sapunza, this is a place that I haven't been to, but obviously everybody talks about it, the Mary Cemetery, I know, how could you have not been there? Unbelievable, Stefan. Well, I haven't, so... Feel free to, to visit it, I will next time, but uh, given the circumstances when I was around here, uh, definitely couldn't. Also you have the, oh I didn't, huh, well that's silly. Well in the final version of this map you'll definitely get Munci Maramureșului and Munci Rodne, really really cool uh, mountains around there, yeah really really nice mountains. but. Even though the history of this place and the moment that I have visited it and what happened really there, Lacul Albastru is quite a... and this little hill around there. Uh, again, I haven't visited everything in Maramureș, uh, but Lacul Albastru is quite special. It becomes blue and then green and it changes colors and you can sit around there, you can jump into the lake. Don't jump into the lake with a rope. People have broken arms like that. So be careful when you go around the blue lake. However, uh, this is my top pick. I know it's not the most exciting one maybe, but it's very close to Baia Mare if you're in Maramureș. It's very close, like everything in Maramureș is very close. You can go to Sapunza, you can go to Sigetu Marmatie, you can visit Munci Rodne and Munci Maramur actually. But yeah, because probably it is special to my heart, Lacul Albastru will get top pick here. And as you can see, there's a lot to talk about in Ardeal. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, let's start with the north. Here in the north you have Kolibica, which is a really cool lake where you can camp around it, it's quite huge, it has a lot of really nice nature, really cool, really recommended. Then, if you want some, uh, well, big city, most developing, the quickest developing city probably in Romania, go to Cluj, I don't think it needs to be talked about too much. If you're in Cluj, visit Kele Turzi, very cool, you can do hiking, you can do climbing, you can do uh, just I don't know, whatever you like in nature. I think you can even camp in there. Then Alba Iulia, important historical city. Uh, this is where the unification of Romania was of, like officially happened, where all the documents were signed. 
Castelul Corfinilor. Impressive castle next to Hunedoara. It's a bit weird inside, but yeah, it's a bit plain. I don't know, but worth visiting nonetheless. Uh, what else? We have Straja here if you want some, probably the longest skiing resort in Romania. Then Transalpina is another, like, another very scenic road through the mountains, very cool. Sibiu, Transfagarashan. Transfagarashan doesn't, like Sibiu, Brasov, Transfagarashan, this is pointless to give too much information. It's, it, you should really visit them. Sigishwara as well, the biggest citadel, old citadel in Romania. However, in my opinion, the place worth visiting in Ardal is Sarmizegetusa Regia. This is the biggest or was biggest citadel place for the Dacians. There's so much weird stuff around there, history, um, there's like archaeological sites. It's in the middle of the mountains. You can see how they used to live 2000 years ago. It's all trees and forests and mountains and some rocks that who knows how they brought them there. Not as impressive as Stonehenge, obviously, or the pyramids, but you know, it's, it's our pyramids really. Uh, with all these crazy representations in this meadow. Yeah, it's, and you get some really cool guides around there that can explain a lot of things for you. It's, uh, it's really nice, it's really nice and, uh, you know, development. What is really interesting about this place is that Sarmize Jetuza Regia is actually the place where the Dacians used to leave before. So also, by the way, just by the way, here you have a few more that are worth seeing. Not as impressive as Sarmize Jetuza Regia, but also worth visiting. So this used to be the place where the Dacians used to live before the Romans came. But this is Sarmize Jetusa, which is here and Regia is here. So here is where the Romans moved the place. And you see it's a bit different, more Roman, more, uh, yeah, definitely more Roman. You see the architecture is not as basic as it used to be in Regia. So if you're around here, you have here the Regia, which is for the Dacians. And then you have here Sarmize Jetusa Ulpia Traiana, which is the city, the city rebuilt after the Romans came. So it's all here in Hunedoara County, quite a important county for the history of Dacians. So that's the trans well, that's the Ardell. And finally, I chose to talk about the Sekeland or the uh, Sequime or about the uh, Tinutul Sequiesc. It has a bunch of different names depending on uh, Sekefold in Hungarian, depending on uh, the language you choose. I'm going to get a lot of hate probably from the Romanians watching this, uh, but I honestly don't care. I think it's worth talking about this separately because you get a different kind of vibe around there if you visit. So here I really, by the way, the Seke fold is the um, Hargita, Kovazna and half of Târgu, of uh, Mureș County but I included here Târgu Mureș as part of it. So here you get a lot of really cool mountains, a lot, a lot of really cool uh, villages and places around the mountains, things to do here, camping, a lot of camping, a lot of hiking. However, I'm not, I think I talked enough about nature so far. So here I'm gonna mention really cheap ski slopes in Hargita Bay, in Madarash, in Toplica, you get a lot of uh, nicely developed ski slopes for really low prices in the middle of nowhere, really friendly people, top, top stuff. Then you have Sovata, which is a really cool spa area where you can go as well in a lake, 
and they have thermal uh, how are they called thermal springs I think yep and then pride where is a um, salt mine so you get a salt hill apparently but you get also a salt mine which is really 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 down under earth not my cup of tea to be honest but it's really worth mention worth seeing it is impressive they even have a in Seke Land, I think the most important place, the most multicultural place uh, you can find is Turgu Moresh. It's an old city famous for its medicine uh, university. It has a couple of really cool uh, buildings and sites to visit. But in my opinion, the most impressive thing to do in Turgu Moresh, I know it might sound a bit lame, but I loved it, is the zoo. And in the zoo specifically, there is an enclosure that simulates the life in the Carpathians so well, I think is this one, is this huge forest where bears and wolves and I think every now and then even dogs uh, are all together. And you can literally see how bears and wolves interact when feeding time comes. Uh, it's, it's quite a scene and if you like bears, as well, you can visit uh, the, the Bear Sanctuary, which is close to Brasov. I haven't been there in Zarnesht. I haven't been there because it's, I think it's quite a sad place. It's all the bears that are a bit uh, damaged from zoos and whatnot. But maybe one day. That was all folks, but before you head off, Please check the map in the description if you are interested in using it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you have other places you want to visit or if you agree with my judgment for the main attraction in each region. Once again, this is a list of places that I have been to and what I like the most. I will see you next week with a new grammar video and until the next one, la revedere.